She's in love with who I am. Back in high school, I used to bust it to the dance. Now I hit the FBO with duffels in my hands. I did half a sand, 13 hours till I land. Have me out like a light. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you for clicking on my video. And if you're an oldie but a goodie, welcome back. This video is gonna be about things I wish I knew before I started nursing school. I think I have 10, but I might have less than 10 because I really wanted to give some good, good pointers. I didn't want to give no fluff, you feel me? I wanted to go in and tell you guys exactly what I wish I knew before nursing school. So we have to get a Bev. You, we gotta get a Bev. Anytime I'm doing a sit down video, I think that's gonna be my new thing. I gotta get a Bev, like. So this, we're gonna pretend that it's a mimosa, but it's just pineapple juice in a wine, in a, in a, in a, um, what are these called? In a flute glass. So let's take a sip. I'm dead acting like this is a mimosa. So I definitely recommend you to get your wine, get your tea, get your coffee, whatever type of beverage you want to drink and tune into this video. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm really excited to be filming, like to be honest. You know that like, I'm dead thirsty. So I wrote down some things in my notebook to talk about. Let me see how many things I actually wrote down to talk to tell you guys about. Okay, for real, for real, I wrote down six. Did I say 10 at the beginning? I wrote down the most clear and concise things that I was like, Taj, you should have knew this before you went into nursing school. Like, and that's what I'm about to share with you guys because there's a lot that I wish I knew. It could have helped me so much in the long road now that I'm working actually as a nurse. So let's take a sip right now, cheers. I'm a licensed practical nurse and I'm a new grad nursing student. I am gonna be sitting for my NCLEX in like, mm, 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 in a little bit. It is literally so close. On my channel, we talk about nursing, lifestyle, a little bit of everything, and I just cannot wait to just continue sharing my journey with you guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button to join the fam bam, okay? Let's get into this video. The first thing that I wish I knew before nursing school is to build a routine. It is imperative. Listen, I made this the first one because if you don't have a good routine, everything is gonna fail. I did not have a good routine and I was all over the place in nursing school. I might have seemed a little bit put together, I'm not gonna lie, but that's because, you know, I give a good look. You know, I'm always gonna give a good look, but behind the scenes, it was low key shambles, I'm not gonna lie to you. And it was stressful. And I started building a routine like my fourth semester because it was just getting a little bit too overwhelming for me. And in fourth semester, I also had clinicals, so I was used to getting up early. I was training my body to start getting up earlier. What I mean by building a routine is having a planner, making a plan, waking up early, getting your to-do lists done. This is my recommendation. Get a planner. Write out all your assignments, all your test dates, your extracurricular activities when you have work write out all those things and break that down even more by making a to-do list for your everyday chores your everyday things that you have to do i'm not sure if you guys are either already in nursing school or you guys are about to go on go into nursing school but having a planner and building a routine is essential essential i'm telling you this now because i wish that is something that i had done now I'm really scrambling, trying to build a routine that involves work, school. When you're in nursing school, it gives you the practice for that. Building your routine, waking up early, going to the gym, cooking, meal prepping. Build your routine that works out best for you. It's gonna ease your anxiety. It's gonna cause less stress. Try to get into that, please, I beg of you, because it's gonna help you with everything. That was literally a rant, sorry. So my second tip is to be organized. Being organized and building a routine, I think that they fall under the same category really because your routine is gonna be your organization for the day. But as I said before, break it down a little bit more. Get a planner. 
They sell them at Marshalls, Walmart, they sell them at the dollar store, okay? Get a planner, get some highlighters, get some pens, and write down the things that you need to write down. Structure yourself, because that is gonna help you so much. Tip number one and two, they literally go hand in hand, but I, I think I just wanted to emphasize building a routine and staying organized it's the key to success i'm telling you it's the key to success now that i'm doing that now it has really helped me i'm still i'm still in the process of actually building my routine and waking up and you know doing what i have to do we're not gonna all be perfect we're human we're not gonna be perfect so at least try at least try to get it done we're on this journey together okay we're on this journey together Tip number three is do not procrastinate. Let me say that again. Do not procrastinate. I'm literally saying that to myself. <laughs> I'm not sure if you heard the second time I said it, it literally sounded like I was talking to myself because I am talking to myself. I am the number one procrastinator. Procrastination should be my middle name. And I'm not proud of that. And that's something that I definitely want to change and that's something that you should want to change too. Being in nursing school, you need to stay on top of it. Your homework assignments should get done early because you have so many other things to do. You literally have clinicals, sim, simulation, you have, what else do you have? You have all these things that you have to do. So at least try to be early and don't procrastinate on these things. If you know that you're about to go to sim, I, this is literally a story that I have. I knew that I needed my ID, okay? I knew that I needed my ID to participate in clinicals. I knew that I was going to clinicals like a week in advance. And guess what? I waited until the night before to look for my ID and I did not find it. I was stressed the out I'm trying to express to you how much I was stressed out like it was not okay I was crying I was it was and I was anxious and I so I messaged my teacher and I was like I don't know where my ID is she said you cannot attend clinicals if you do not have your ID and I was like dang like she was she wasn't even giving me a chance honey she she had no sympathy for me she said you knew in advance that you had a week before clinical started and what'd you do? You procrastinated and you're texting me the night before saying you don't have your ID. So anyways, to finish the story, I ended up going on my campus website and I printed out and I printed out like a temporary ID girl. This makeshift ID, if I can show y'all, I don't think I have it with me, but I have this makeshift ID. Oh my gosh, it's right here. Do you see this? This is the makeshift ID. I think it's like attached to like a gift card or something. It is literally attached to a Publix gift card. It's two sheets of paper that I printed off of my school website. I was not going to be able to graduate if she said, you know, if, if I didn't make it to that clinicals, I was not going to be able to graduate. Nursing schools, they don't freaking play. So I need you to not be like me and be making makeshift ID out of um, Publix gift cards and get your shit done, okay? And do not procrastinate. Don't be like me. I'm telling you right now, do not do that. Cause that is gonna stress you out and have you under anxiety. Everybody around me, my boyfriend, my mom, my friend, they were all anxious for me, but they looked at me and said, you knew you had clinicals in a, like a week ago why wasn't this prepared why didn't you even try to do it today why are you waiting until the night to look for your stuff don't procrastinate that's all i'm gonna say my tip number four is know that you're gonna have limited time with your friends your families and you can't you're not able to participate in the same things that they're participating in because you have to study because you have homework to do and that's okay. That's gonna be your sacrifice that you have to make. Everybody has to make sacrifices. This is just yours. And your friends and family who love you, they will understand that and they will cherish you, okay? They will be the most supportive. They will change around their time to spend time with you. They will meet you in the middle. If they love you, they will meet you in the middle. But just know that you might not be going to Disney World every single year, you know? 
Like you might not be having so much fun during spring break, you know what I'm saying? Because you're gonna have to work or you're gonna have to pick up shifts because you weren't working during the semester. And I'm speaking from personal experience, okay? Know that your sacrifices are not going to be in vain and you're going to be a success. And everybody around you is just going to be so proud of you that you made those sacrifices. My tip number five is learn how to network and learn how to make friends. I am kind of a shy person, you can say. If I don't know you, I'm super shy. But if I know you, I'm literally a ball of energy. So this tip was really, really hard for me to do. Make friends and network. And now I'm literally learning how to do that right now. It was very hard like making friends in nursing school. I had one friend in nursing school that I used to study with all the time and we still communicate to this day. But other than that, I really had no one else. I didn't know how to network. And networking in your career is one of the things that you should definitely learn how to do. It is, imp it is imperative that you learn how to network. I'm learning that now as I'm working, but it's still a little bit hard because my personality is still kind of shy. I'm still kind of like quiet at times. So, but yeah, learn how to make friends. Step out of your comfort zone, step out of your box and learn how to make friends. Cause those people who have all the information that you need, those are gonna be your study partners. They're, they are the only ones who understand how you're feeling right now. Nobody else knows, okay? If they haven't been through nursing school, nobody else knows. Your best friend don't know, your boyfriend don't know, your girlfriend don't know, your grandma don't know. They don't know what you're feeling, what you're experiencing, the stress and anxiety that you're under. The only people that know are the people that are in your nursing program with you. So try to network and be friends with them because they, they're gonna help you and assist you so much during this time. I wish someone would have told me that tip to network and make friends and actually step out of my comfort zone and to be social. I'm telling you guys that now because it is essential that you guys do that. My sixth tip for you guys is try to use supplemental resources such as YouTube, Quizlet, bo supplemental books. I loved my Saunders book much during nursing school. And I started using my Saunders book like fourth semester. My semesters could have went so much smoother if I just used the Saunders book from the beginning. But I, I don't know what was going on with me. Like I just didn't want any supplemental resources. I thought I could do this. Da -da -da -da. Make it easier for yourself. Get the Saunders book. It breaks things down so much simpler. It's like no BS. It goes straight to the point and it gives you what you need to know. So Saunders is a supplemental book that I like to use. I didn't really use any other supplemental books. Saunders was the one for me. I use Quizlet a lot. Quizlet has a lot of questions, like practice questions for you to do um, for your exams and everything. Go on to Quizlet and search up what you're searching up. Say you're gonna search up gestational diabetes registered nursing questions or something like that. It is, it is amazing. Practice questions are gonna be your best friend it allows you to apply the information that you have learned and they have helped me so much so quizlet is another one and youtube youtube i honestly if i could give coin to youtube and the nursing professors and the nursing teachers on youtube child i would registered nurse rn.com let me list out a few people. RegisteredNurseRN.com, Simple Nursing, who else? Let me, cause I, I know I have some people in my phone, honey. Level Up RN. She is so good with like the maternity, maternity, she was amazing, I loved her. But RegisteredNurseRN.com, she actually spoke to me in a way that I understand she made she broke it down and i understood like she gave like little mnemonics simple nursing i think his name is mike he is amazing he is hilarious he has more like cartoons i would say like so his cartoons were like amazing i love them simple nursing registered rn.com level up rn they are amazing and if they have any practice questions do their practice questions and listen to their lecture over and over and over. They have helped me so much, okay? All these things will be linked down below in the description bar. And another person that I came across the other day, Mark Klemek, 
Mark Klimek, I think. Whichever one, he is bomb, okay? No BS, go straight to the point. But I think he's more for like NCLEX review, but he really helps like with prior the prioritization. I just found him like a week ago. Everybody in nursing school was talking about him, but I don't know, that's what I'm saying. Like I was just like, uh -huh, I don't need it, da 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 da. I don't know who I thought I was, child. So even when I was saying that I didn't need it, I needed it, cause I was failing them tests. Okay, let me stop being dramatic. I wasn't failing, like failing, failing. I know that if I used all these tips that I'm giving you guys, I probably would have had A's. I'm just like reflecting like, wow, you should have freaking listened. I'm gonna drink. I've been talking here. Whew, I gotta catch my breath. I just feel like I'm just so passionate about this because I wish I knew these tips and I wish I was searching on YouTube these tips before I was in the nursing program and it sucks that I didn't but now I'm here to tell you guys so I hope you guys actually listen to me. <laughs> listen to me like your little nursing fairy at this point. Mm -hmm. Everybody will be linked down below, especially where I get the Mark Klemek lectures. It's going to be linked down below, child. And my seventh tip, this is going to be a bonus tip. I know I said six in the beginning, but this is a bonus tip. You are going to be just fine, okay? You're going to be okay. You are going to be okay. Let me say that again. I said it, I said it three times already, but let me say it again. You are going to be okay. All of this work that you're putting in, all the tears, all the sacrifices, you are gonna be okay. You're gonna walk that stage, honey, proud. Chin up, and you're gonna be, like, you're gonna be feeling yourself, honey, cause you're like, cause you're gonna be like, mm, 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 like, rah, 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 like, I really did that. And I'm gonna be like, yes, you did, child, yes, you did. You go through a lot, and people don't understand. Only the people who have been through it relate and they understand. What is what is the TikTok? You get it, you get it. What is the TikTok? I literally told you chilling, eating, get it, get it, get it and the girl sat down. Damn. That's literally it. Only the real can relate. Like only the people that's been in your position can relate to what you going through right now. And I'm telling you, use my tips. Use my tips. You're gonna be straight. You're gonna be fine. I have faith in you and I have trust in you and you're gonna be okay all the tears all the sacrifices everything is worth it it's worth it sweetie and you're gonna be a bomb ass nurse you're gonna be walking that stage like I did that period and I'm gonna be like I'm proud of you and y'all finna message me like da -da -da -da, da -da -da, I use your tips and I'm gonna be like period you guys are gonna be amazing nurses. You guys are gonna do great. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys take my tips. Everything that I mentioned will be linked in the description box. Everybody that I mentioned also will be linked in the description box. My socials are also gonna be in the description bar below. Hope you guys are having a good January, a good start of your year. How's 2022 going for you guys? If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button, sweetie. And if you are an oldie but a goodie, still tap that like button thank you guys so much and i will see you guys in another video bye guys like a light like a light slept through the flight now i hit the fbo with duffels in my hands i didn't have a sand